All right, guys, so we have a word problem. Louisa is making flan. For every egg, she can make three flans. The rule F equals three E describes the relationship between the number of flans F and the number of eggs E. How many flans can Louisa make if she uses five eggs? You can use input and output tables or a list, of pattern, a list to show a pattern. When a pattern is shown in a table, it shows the relationship between the inputs and outputs when a pattern is shown in a list, if only outputs are, if it only shows the outputs in order. So what this is saying is the eggs are the number that we're gonna put in, and what the amount, based on the number we put in, we're gonna get something out of it. So every time I put in one egg, I'm going to get out three flans, is what it says. So if I continue this pattern, how many, if I have two eggs, how many flans can I get? Six. Now I have three eggs. So I have th three flans for the first egg, three more for the second egg, and three more for the third egg. I'm going to have a total of nine flans. I am figuring this out by repeating addition. So for three flans, I knew that it was three plus three plus three equals nine. For the fourth one, I'm going to add a third flan, and now I have 12. For the fifth one, I'm going to start with my 12, and I'm going to add three more. Now I have 15. So I'm able to complete my pattern by continuously adding three to my first one. Repeated addition is the same thing as multiplication. So if I take E, the number of eggs, and I multiply it by three, whenever I have three on top of a number, that's the same thing as telling me to multiply. It's the same thing as three times E. And whatever I get is going to equal F, the number of flans that will be made. So the pattern was three, six, nine, 12, 15. The fifth number in the pattern is 15. With her five eggs, she is able to make 15 flans. So I was able to put in the pattern three times five equals F, F, is equal to 15. So I generated a pattern or I could have used that rule.